let's move and talk about what are the indications to use bicarb okay whether a drip or pushes pushes usually in severe let's say uh pushes usually it's in severe metabolic acidosis that associated with hemodynamic instability and life-threatening situation let's say somebody in severe septic shock shock or hypovolemic shock so he has high lactic acids and ph is um very low and patient on pressors uh the qr is getting wide you know things that you could see with all probably hyperkalemia and because you know acidosis is associated with hyperkalemia then you push by carbs. but let's get more specific if this is severe lactic acidosis which is in most shock right type of shock that will have this this is the cause of their severe metabolic acidosis they saying the indication if ph is less than 7.1 and bicarb less than 6 you go ahead and give an amp of 2 or 2 of bicarb then you infuse bicarb drip again depends the rate depends on what you're trying to achieve um there are some equations but in practical life look at this um so you look at the if the ph is very low of course it's then 7.1 i really don't look at this much but if you want to go by the textbook you can go look at these you give one to two amps of bicarb pushes and then you can use the bicarb drip okay and the rate can go from 100 to 200 mil per hour and more important is treat underlying problem right it gets more interesting they saying if there is an associated acute kidney injury which is pretty common with full-blown shocks that you get uh, an acute kidney injury they saying your threshold should be uh, 7.2 to 7.3 you should start by carb drip if with aki acute kidney injury because they're saying the goal here is keep ph or 7.3 the issue with acute kidney injury it complicates things and makes acidosis worse so that's for the indication with severe lactic acidosis but again in most people with shocks patients with shocks with or regardless of their shock right the type of their shock if they get severe metabolic acidosis they get more hypotensive so the classic scenario you have a patient who's in icu intubated multiple pressors and multiple vasopressors and the nurse telling you hey is the patient is getting more hypotensive and sometimes if you are smart enough you look at the monitor the qrs is getting wide right and that's probably indicating severe hyperkalemia remember critically ill patients labs can change pretty quickly so you may have checked potassium in labs an hour ago and they were okay but they can change very quickly so those are indication even if the patient is doing that don't wait for the abg just go ahead and push one or two amps of bicarb and you will see an immediate improvement in their blood pressure and then you will see the qrs complex is getting narrower if you want to get the abg you have time for that go for it but these are the textbook indications for lactic acidosis severe lactic acidosis if there is no acute kidney injury 7.1 less than 7.1 the ph and bicarb less than 6 and if there is acute kidney injury you want to keep the ph more than 7.3 next video we'll talk about indication other indications of bicarb drip thanks for watching this video please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you get to see the videos as soon as they are released glad to have you on board